I was part of the Adaptive Structural Skins cluster. So we presented as a group and um, I talked a bit about the physical simulation side of things using the software. We also talked about the construction that we've done over the last few days and the engineers talked about the analysis tools we've used for it and then we had the little discussion afterwards of uh, how it related to the other clusters. So we set out to explore ideas of transforming and adaptable structures and uh, to make something which could have some element of shape change in it, either in the design process or in the built thing, and for it to also be self-supporting structurally. So we were trying to use some geometric constraints in the modeling of um, keeping the panels square and fixed at the same size and seeing then what curved shapes we could make uh, for this vault that we constructed. So it was uh, inspired by some uh, origami patterns and trying to scale them up and see how they work on a, on a building sort of scale. We ran into lots of challenges of building this system, but I think we're all quite excited to try some different scales and developing it further because we think we've got something, a system with a lot of potential. And in terms of the tools, it's also given a lot of ideas for how to develop them and make them better, seeing people use them, especially in such a compressed time frame, uh, seeing the whole design process from start to finish makes it clear where the tools are working well and where they're not and how that can be improved. Smart Geometry to me, I guess, is mainly uh, a gathering of really interesting people interested in the same things about how we design and how our design tools are working for us. And it's always an opportunity to meet new people and meet up with people you know and uh, have some great discussions and get some new ideas for where to go in the next years. It's, uh, it's been a really enjoyable time and I'm very glad to have been here and uh, to have had the opportunity to work with all these people.